Hello again everybody, it's me, Miss McCombie, and today we're celebrating World Book Day with a book-themed quiz. There will be four rounds, each round has five questions, each question is worth one point, so there's a total of 20 points up for grabs. You can do this quiz by yourself, but it's even more fun if you get friends and family involved as well. I would also recommend that you get out a pen and a piece of paper so you can keep a track of your answers as we're going through it. After each round, I will give you the answers for that round. So without further ado, let's start on round one. So round one is all multiple choice questions, okay? Just to ease you into it, make it a little bit easier. So question number one, what is the name of Greg Heffley's older brother in the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series? Is it A, Rowley? Is it B, Manny? Or is it C, Roderick? Okay then, question number two. In the series of Unfortunate Events book series, what symbol does Count Olaf have on his ankle? Is it A, a triangle, B, an eye, or C, a flower? All right, then on to question number three. Lyra Balakwa is a character who, that appears in a book series by which author? Is it A, Philip Pullman, B, JK Rowling, or C, George R.R. R. Martin? You think you know? Alrighty then, question number four. What is the name of the pig in Charlotte's Web? Is it A, William? Is it B, Wilbert? Or is it C, Wilbur? And question number five. Which of these is not one of Beatrix Potter's books? Is it A, The Tale of the Little Tiny Town Mouse? B, The Tale of Pigling Bland? Or C, The Tale of Tom Kitten? Okay, that's the end of round one. Okay, time to go over some answers to round one. So question number one asked you, what was the name of Greg Heffley's older brother in Diary of a Wimpy Kid? The answer was C, Roderick. Question number two, in a series of unfortunate events, what does Count Olaf have tattooed on his ankle? The answer is B, an eye. Question number three then, Lyra Balakwa appears in the book series by which author? The answer is A, Philip Pullman. Well done if you got that one. Question number four then, asked you what was the name of the pig in Charlotte's Web? The answer was C, Wilbur. Didn't get caught out there, no? And question number five, which of these was not a book by Beatrix Potter? The answer is A, The Tale of the Very Little Tiny Town Mouse. I made that one up. All right then, guess it's time for round two. Round two is all about fictional places from books. Okay, again, there will be five questions in this round. Each question is worth one point. So question number one of this round, what is the name of the world where J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings is set? Question number two. The Hunger Games takes place in a dystopian future in America, but what is this place called? Question number three. Which fictional world is being described as always winter, but never Christmas? Always winter, but never Christmas. Question number four. Which vampire novel is set in the town of Forks in Washington? Ok, 
Okay, and then on to question number five. Hogwarts is a fictional school for witches and wizards of Great Britain and is located in Scotland. JK Rowling also created an American equivalent of Hogwarts for America. What is the name of the American School of Witchcraft and Wizardry? Okay, time for some answers to round two then. So, question number one asked you, where does Lord of the Rings take place? The answer is Middle Earth. Question number two asked you, where was the Hunger Games set? The answer is Panem. Question number three asked you to figure out, where is always winter but never Christmas? The answer is Narnia, which has been set that way by the White Witch. Question number four, which vampire novel is set in Forks, Washington? Of course, the answer is Twilight. And lastly, the American School for Witchcraft and Wizardry, created by JK Rowling, is known as Ilvermorny. Well done if you got all five of those in that round. Now, we're going to move on to round number three. Okay, round number three is all about children's classics. Books that you read when you're quite small. So, we'll start off with question number one. Question number one is, Judith Kerr wrote about an animal who came to tea, but what was that animal? Okay, then on to question number two. Question number two is, the Scottish terrier, Harry McClary, created by Lindley Dodd, comes from Donaldson's where? Okay, question number three. In the Gruffalo by Julia Donaldson, a mouse wanders through the wood and runs into a Gruffalo. Before doing so, he runs into three other predators. What are those three predators? For this one, you have to get all three of those to get a point. Didn't think I was gonna make it easy, did you? Okay, on to question number four. In Michael Rosen's book, what are the children going on a hunt for? And question number five. What colour is the face of the very hungry caterpillar? Think carefully about that one. Ready for some answers then? Okay, so question one, what animal came to tea? Of course, it was the tiger who came to tea. Question number two, the dog, Harry McClary, comes from Donaldson's Dairy. Harry McClary from Donaldson's Dairy. Question number three, in the Gruffalo, before running into the Gruffalo, the mouse runs into three animals. Those animals are the fox, the snake, and the owl, all of whom want to eat him. Question four, Michael Rosen's book, the children are going on a bear hunt. And question number five, while most of the very hungry caterpillar is green, the very hungry caterpillar's face is actually red. So well done if you got that one. Okay, count up how many you got in that round and we can move on to round number four. Okay, round number four is all about made up words. Words made up by children's authors. So we're gonna start off with question number one. Snozcumbers and Frobscottle appear in which very famous children's book? Snozcumbers and Frobscottle. What book do they appear in? Question
Question number two. The word chortle is a made up word, but its first known use is in the poem The Jabberwocky, which is a poem included in which famous children's book? How good is your poetry knowledge? Okay then, on to question number, uh, question number three. Truffula trees are used to make sneeze in which children's book by Dr. Seuss? Question number four. Which word is used to refer to non-magic people in the Harry Potter universe? There's actually two words. I will accept either of those words. And finally, woozles and thephalumps are creatures mentioned in which set of children's books? Righty then, that was our last question, so let's get on with some answers. So the first question, Snoss, Cumbers and Frobscossel appear in which famous children's book? The answer is of course, the BFG, The Big Friendly Giant by Roald Dahl. Question number two, the word chortle is a made up word first mentioned in the Jabberwocky, which first appeared in which classic children's book? The answer is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland or Alice in Wonderland. Question number three then, truffula trees are used to make thneets in the Lorax. Question number four, the word used to refer to non-magic people in the Harry Potter universe is muggles. If you also said no magic, I would have allowed that as well, seeing as that's the word that American wizards used to refer to non-magic folk. And finally, heffalumps and woozles appear in Winnie the Pooh. So if you got that one, get yourself a point. Okay, add up how many you got in that round. Okay, so that is the end of our book quiz. It's worth 20 points. Let me know how you got on down in the comments. Was your book knowledge as good as you thought it would be? Did you do better than your friends and family? I hope you enjoyed this quiz and I hope you really enjoy the rest of your World Book Day. So it's goodbye from me and I'll see you all next time. Bye!